My amendment prohibits oil and gas leasing on federal lands in a way that would increase even further our net carbon emissions. Educate yourself on how America attained its low emissions. If you care about the air quality, you care about climate change. Natural gas is what got America there. Educate yourself on that. Go and learn. Go and learn for yourself about this. The chair would remind all members to address their comments during the various debates to the chair. While I cannot control the fact that the other side seems to have made the assumption that I am uneducated, uh, one of the things that I can say, or you know what, what they may say about my worldview, one of the things that I can say is that while I may not work for Wall Street, that is true. I may not be here with the mission to increase profits for corporations. That is true. My mission here is for the well-being and dignity of our family and our planet's future, for our children's ability to live on this planet. That is what the, this amendment is about. You know, I've sat here for much of today and listened to many of my colleagues, particularly those on the opposite uh, side of the aisle, uh, introduce amendments and legislation that conveniently benefit the fossil fuel industry while fear-mongering about things like the Green New Deal and positive climate action, to which I say, boo. Last year, four of the major oil companies, Shell, Chevron, BP, and ExxonMobil, posted record profits totaling $75 billion. Speaking of $75 billion, yesterday, it was announced that Chevron will spend $75 billion on buying back their own stock after reaping record quarterly profits in 2022, driving up their own stock prices and padding CEO compensation. This reckless Wall Street profiteering at the public's expense and the planet's expense should have consequences. Capitalism. I understand the gentlelady across the aisle doesn't like capitalism, but capitalism provides benevolence in so many ways. This amendment's anti-free market. So I urge my colleagues to vote no on the amendment. The oil industry already possesses more than 9,000 unused drilling permits on federal lands. Nearly 5,000 of those permits were approved in 2021 alone. The oil industry already has at least 10 years worth of unused leases at its disposal. They are only producing oil or gas on roughly half the area that is already leased. And there are nearly 14 million acres onshore and more than 9 million acres offshore that are currently under, under lease but are not being used for oil production. Why lease even more? This amendment would limit clean energy, American produced clean energy, and increase emissions-heavy foreign energy. American oil production is the cleanest in the world, where it's produced and where it's used. When we talk about education, we should all take it upon ourselves in this body to educate ourselves on the science of the challenge of climate change that is before us. By around 2050, we are looking at, at the Western states to be projected to further increase, uh, wildfires to further increase two to six times. And that is just scratching the surface. We don't even need to look towards the future to understand the cost of climate change. In 2021, the federal government estimates that 20 different natural disasters that year alone cost the nation an estimated 145 billion and killed no nearly 700 people. The only way to guarantee consumers reliable, affordable energy is for the United States to invest in renewable energy. It's also the only way to protect our country from increasingly devastating weather events and rising temperatures. I urge the adoption of the amendment and yield back.